Hey there everybody, Bradley Sven on here, back with a video. Finally got my account back as you can see. Post 30 day ban, it didn't get wiped, but we got a lot of things to talk about here. I'll recap the last video, talk about the comments and what people have said on there. I'll talk about what's next for me. Kinda obvious here, kinda not. I'll talk about iPogo and whether it's safe to use right now. I'll tell you about the differences between iTools and iPogo. I'll talk about the upcoming news for the rest of September. And then I'll tell you about what videos I have in store after this one. So let's get to it. I wanted to get this video started right now since I just found a fresh shundo. So I think it's a great time to start the video. Bingo, bango, bongo. I know it's an auto catch. I take the screenshots with a golden berry for my Pogo Shiny Hunter Instagram. It's just kind of the yeah trademark or whatever you want to call it. But hey, let's catch this guy before he gets away. I don't want to lose him, but that's why I want to start the video here. San Antonio, Texas. Shundo, baby! Number f <laughs> 424. Hell yeah, let's go. This stuff's up there's not even updated because it's so fresh. Alright, I'm going to finish this guy up and then I'll come back and we'll get to the rest of the video. Let's go. Good to see you, everybody. Turns out I had to go golfing after that sand true, so I actually ended up getting another Shundo before I started this video. Drum roll, please. Boom, baby! Snorlax Shundo, let's go! Been looking a long time for this guy. In the German version of Pokemon, he's named Relaxo, and I caught him in Germany. Hence why I named him Relaxo. Pumped him to level 40. Woo, let's go! Pretty pumped on him, so... Still getting Shundos here. Post 30 day ban. Let's get into the nitty gritty. So, recap the last video, basically. When did the ban start and when did they stop? They basically came during the Go Fest of Pokemon Go. Y'all remember Go Fest, the big event. Those tend to be the times where they try and take people out. So unfortunately, I was hit and many other people are hit during that time. Not everybody was hit. Keep in mind, it was just seemed to be a sprinkled amount of people. My best friend plays a lot like me and he didn't get hit and he's still using iPogo. But I'll get into that in a little bit. The good news is, though, nobody's been banned for about a month now. Like, I go back to my old video where I've encouraged people to give me their information, whether they've been banned, things like that. For the first week and a bit, I was hit with a whole bunch of comments. Thank you for all the people participating to help me know what's going on. And those have all dissipated. People got hit like me, and those comments have stopped. Since GoFest has passed, nobody has been hit in the last month. So that's a great, 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 great news. Because obviously you don't want to get banned. But hey, I'm still going to play it safe. So let's move on to what's going on for me now. And how am I going to continue playing. And what am I currently doing. Because I know people are asking me that a whole bunch. Especially on Instagram. But unfortunately a lot of people on Instagram haven't made their way over here. And just want to hit me with DMs. These videos help give you all the answers you need. So let's get into it. So as you probably know before. I've told you about iTools. How it uses the original app. I'm plugged in using an Ethernet cord, RJ45 adapter. You can go watch those videos to get more in tune with it. I had to actually go back and watch my old video to figure out how to set it up because it's a little tedious. But once you get it going, as you can see, I can still spoof around. Hunt Shundos. I'll tell you about the differences in a little bit, but hey, using iTools, it's slower. Doesn't have a lot of the bells and whistles, but hey. A lot safer, no one's ever been hit using this version, even through GoFest and all those things. As long as you're not using iTools PC, that's a totally different story. But iTools Mobile and Bluetooth, that's the way to go. So you can go watch those videos, like I said, to get in tune. I will be planning on making a fresher video on this since it still works, and I'll just show you how to get it all set up. But hey, iTools, that's what I'm using. Still shadow hunting, staying safe. I'm at two out of three strikes, so it's dangerous. If you get three strikes, your account's perma-banned. So that's why I don't want to try iPogo, even though people aren't getting banned. So let's move on to iPogo and tell you about whether it's still okay for you to use or not. All right, so iPogo, that's what I was using. And you may have seen my videos on how to install it. I will be making a new one on that. But as far as safety of iPogo goes, nobody, like I said, has been hit for months, It or not months, sorry, a month since GoFest, and my friend's been using it, a bunch of people I know have been using it still after GoFest, after the comments kind of dissipated and people weren't getting banned, although they played through GoFest too, so it wasn't a guaranteed hit, 
like I said, and they've been continuing to play and they haven't been hit. And when I say they, I mean a lot of people. I would have gotten tons of comments by now of people getting banned using it. So if you don't have two out of three strikes, if you haven't been hit with a red warning at all, or have only been hit with the red warning and not the 30 day ban recently, I'd say 100% go for it. It's better than iTools, obviously. It gives you an auto excellent catch. It, it shortens up all the teasiest long things you have to go through daily playing this game. There's lots of bonuses. I'll get into that in another video. As far as I can say, it's currently safe. I'll obviously let you know if there is some sort of buzzing and warning, but keep in mind it's the big events that may get you hit, so avoid GoFest if you want to be really safe. And the other ones, not talking about weekly events, but community days. That would be the second events I would maybe avoid if you're really worried about it. I think you'll be safe if you take my word for it. But if you want to be extra safe, just avoid the community days and any big one day events like or two day weekend events like GoFest. So like I've been saying, there are differences between iTools and what I used to use, iPogo. iPogo has a lot of extra bells and whistles, lets you skip go rocket battles, auto excellent throws, quick catch. The hundo feeds and shundo hunting is a lot faster and quicker. It's just way more smooth of a process using iPogo. But the huge difference is iPogo is a third party app and can get detected if they find a way or want to or whatever they decide to do. I'm not Niantic. I don't know exactly why they've banned people, but I've got a good idea. So iPogo is easier for them to track. As far as iTools goes, the big difference is it's 100% safe. No one's ever been banned using this. You use the actual app, as you can see. And then you use this iTools app to change your entire device's location. And then you open back Pokemon Go. So I can't walk around right now. I have to just stay there. I got to do my own throws and things like that. There is a version that you can get from the website that's a joystick version of iTools Bluetooth. I have yet to try it out. Shame on me. But that should let you walk around. But as you can see, Shundo Hunting, so I can still do this. I'm two out of three strikes. I don't want to lose this account. Obviously, 425 Shundos, lots of people love seeing my journey and all that stuff. Good stuff, yada yada. So I'm going to stay on iTools until I hear any sort of word that maybe the bands got reversed or things like that. But obviously, I'm going to stay safe over here on iTools with my two out of three strikes and my account that has a sh ton of Shundos. So nobody wants me to lose this account as much as I don't want to lose this account. So I'm gonna stay on iTools, but I will be downloading iPogo on my phone. I'll be showing you how to do it using the computer for free. And I'll be showing you how to Shundo hunt on both versions. But as far as my main account goes, it's staying on iTools. So now let's get into the news and what's actually going on this September in Pokemon Go to keep you all updated. All right, so as you can see here, I'm looking at Wobbuffets and Slowpokes. There is the Psychic Spectacular event. So there's psychic Pokemon spawning around, there's Abras, there's Slowpokes, there's Wobbuffets, there's Woobats, Ball Toys, Drowsies, etc. There's some Elgium, but unfortunately there is no new shiny. So that's a big bummer to me, so just kind of cleaning up those shinies you haven't gotten before that are psychics, so keep an eye out there. There's also Solosis and Gathita that don't spawn a lot other than this event. So you can get your candy for those guys too. So it ends on the 13th. After that, you'll have a fashion week from September 21st to the 28th. Not much information has been on that. Most likely there will be a costume Pokemon, but we'll see. Hopefully there's at least a new shiny because no new shiny on Psychic Spectacular. Super lame if you ask me. So this is the season of mischief. There's that uh, research going on over here. And every now and then a few days it'll let you do the next one so it's a work in progress it's kind of weird but just kind of keep up with that and eventually that will fully unlock at the end of september i believe yeah there's me trying to get my shiny mew being mad a few times trying to hunt and teleporting around i've screwed that up so many times i think i've gotten to six days is my best so let's see if i could get past six at least this time as far as raids go there's lugia right now until the 14th and then after that, there's the Lake Trio, the Azelf, Yuxi, and Mesprit. All three of those will have their shinies released, and they'll all be in their regions that they have been before. 
But if you're like me, partner around, you could go for all three of them. So good luck getting those shinies. That's after September 14th, Lugia leaves. Those, those three come in until the end of the month. So good luck trying to get those guys. Spotlight hours, pretty ho-hum, except there's one special one. So September 28th from 6 to 7 p.m. local time, Alolan Meowth will be spawning. And it could be shiny, and it doesn't usually spawn in the wild, so that'll be a huge opportunity to get your shiny Alolan Meowth, or Shundo Alolan Meowth, if you're like me, Shundo hunting. I'll be going hard for that guy. And then one more important thing of note, we got shiny Ditto in the wild this month. Here's my post I made on Instagram, Pogo Shiny Hunter, as you can see. It's not an event, so it's just got a release date. It doesn't have an end date. It says it'll be available from this time and after. So there's your information on how to get one. So as you can see on the bottom there, there's the Ditto transformations and what it, the Pokemon could be Dittos. But if you see a Pokemon of one of those Pokemon and it's a shiny, it's never going to be a Ditto. It's just the shiny version of that Pokemon. But if you see a plain version of that Pokemon, it has three options as you can see. It could be that Pokemon, it could be a regular Ditto, or it could be a shiny Ditto. You won't be able to see it until you catch the Pokemon. So if you're a Shunno Hunter like myself, get cords for 100 IV ditto you're gonna have to catch that Pokemon to see if that ditto is shiny or not so that's unfortunate because you can't just like shun no hunt like this where you find a Pokemon go there you could tap it and if it's not shiny just run away and keep doing it so that's the difference here you're gonna actually have to catch those dittos so good luck getting a shiny ditto it's tricky but those Pokemon down there could be Ditto, and you just get a chance at it being shiny when you catch it. Not sure of the odds. Nobody knows the odds. If you ask me, I'm going to guess that it's boosted odds. Maybe like a raid type of shiny odds. If it's full odds, it's going to make this guy a real son of a bitch to find Shundo. But hey, it's out there in the wild, and you could actually get one, so that is good news. So that's it for September and all the things to note. One more thing, actually, there is a weekly one coin bundle you could buy from the store that'll give you a raid pass or a remote raid pass, I should say. So keep in mind, you can get a basically free remote raid pass every week by going to the store and purchasing that one coin bundle. So make sure you do that if you like to raid and don't like to pay for raid passes. Okay, and then last but not least, I'll let you know about my agenda here and what I plan to come out with next videos and things like that. So I will be streaming some more. I streamed last night. It was fun to connect to some people. I make a new setup here where I could have a big I iPad and then I'll put my Xbox right where my camera is right here. So it'll be a fun interactive watch me shundo hunt and hang out type of atmosphere. As far as videos go, I'm going to be making an iPogo install using Sideloady. I'll be making a Shundo hunting video for both iTools and iPogo. I'll be making a iPogo versus iTools video to show you the difference between the two and what really, because they sound very similar when I, I talk about them. So I'll give you a visual and really explain what the difference between the two are. Another big one I've been meaning to put out, and especially in case my account ever gets permabanned, I want to get this video out, is a video of all my Shundo collection. So all 425 Pokemon that are shiny 100 IV that I have, I'll show them. I'll go through them all, and it'll be a fun video to show them all off and go through all that good stuff. Who knows, after that, we'll just keep going. Thanks for watching, everybody. Much love. I appreciate all the support and love that people give to me. If you got comments or things you want to see, things I didn't say clearly, or if I screwed up, or if you're getting banned, all that good stuff, please throw it down in the comments. I'll make sure to go through those so that I can get most of my information down and be ready for another video. So hopefully I'll get another a spoofing update news video going here too as well to give you everything going on with Pokemon Go. So maybe I'll do this each month and give you an update of spoofing and news at the same time. I was doing it week by week, but it didn't all, didn't really seem like necessary once the bands weren't really coming in. So I think I may be doing it once a month. So anyways, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, everybody. Much love. I appreciate all of you. Have a great day, night, rest of your week. Good luck getting those shinies, and I'll see you later. Peace.